Imagine having an emergency, calling 911, but your local emergency service can't find you. Now there is a 911 system that's getting a huge upgrade. Taylor Hicks went to Twiggs County to find out what's changing and how it should help folks in town. Dennis Lewis is the owner of an archery company, Obsession Bows. He moved to Twiggs County in 2005. It's probably, you know, you, uh, one of the safest places you can live. I really don't see any crime uh, going on or read about much happening around Twiggs County. One of Lewis's favorite hobbies is hunting. Really enjoyed it here, being an outdoorsman. But in 2011, Lewis fell 25 feet in a hunting accident in Wilkinson County. That left him in a wheelchair for a year. You know, I had to be airlifted and I dialed 911. He says Georgia State Patrol had to ping his location because Wilkinson, Lawrence, and Twiggs County could not locate him. I felt like if, you know, they could have located me quickly, it probably my time of being in the wheelchair and the recovery time would have been a lot less. But when Twiggs County completes its upgrade to the 911 system, people shouldn't have to worry about first responders finding them. It is actually next gen 911 capable. Jennifer Mullis, Twix County E911 director, says that will help them quickly locate cell phone callers. For so long now, we've been without our Annie Alley, which is what pings you on our maps. And our 911 phone system has not been able to talk to our CAD, which is the computer aided dispatch. Mullis says their new system consists of a text to 911 feature that will let people send a text message to the sheriff's office if they can't call. That's a bad feeling to have somebody on the phone hiding in a closet that can't talk to you, but maybe now they can. She says these new features will improve police response times. Lewis agrees. Being able to locate someone immediately with your cell phone, I think is a big plus. She says the system should be running within a month. Reporting in Twix County, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. The Department of Agriculture gave the Sheriff's Office a $100,000 grant for the 911 system and a $274,000 loan.